All right, so you might be thinking for a budget traveler, 50 euros to spend in 24 hours isn't that bad. Not when you haven't got a place to stay for the night. Yeah, so unfortunately Dublin is one of the most expensive cities in Europe, so I'm either end up homeless for the night or starving, one of the two. But anyway, more on that later, let's rewind first. All right, so it was only a couple of weeks ago when I finally finished uni, worst thing I've ever done, but I'm already hungry for adventure. So naturally, I got up Skyscanner and I found that I can have pretty much exactly 24 hours in Dublin flying from Newcastle for just £35. But anyway, I think it's time to head to Dublin. Let's go. All right, we're through security, but I've got an hour to kill until the gate information comes out, so I've got some time to kill. Dobby is free! Hi, mate, you wouldn't be able to fill that up for me, please, would you? Cheers. There you go, a little handy tip. Bring an empty bottle through security, fill it up for free. Saves you spending two pound on a bottle of water. Alright, so here we are, just landed in Dublin Airport now. Got to try and find a way into the city centre, so should have probably planned that before I came, but let's go. Hi, mate. Can I get tickets into the centre of Dublin? Yeah. From here? Card only, mate. Card only? How much is it? Uh, so, Carnival Street, main city centre, it's 8 euros single or 12 or chocolate per person. Yep. Thank you. Cheers. Well, there we go. So, my plan to use my 50 euros, which would have been a lot easier. It's already been ruined. You could only pay by card. So I'm just get a return ticket for today in the city centre, then tomorrow coming back. 12 euros, that's like over 20% of my budget gone already. That could be in trouble. Oh, Alright, so here we go. I've just arrived in the centre. Welcome to Dublin. I've got no idea where I'm wondering. I think I'm just going to head over that way, see if I can find something, and maybe try and tick off our first challenge. All oh, right, so here we are. I'm guessing I'm just wandering down one of the main streets here. It's pretty busy. There's people everywhere, and that just reminds me. So I, I don't think I've told you. I've basically, to make it a bit more interesting, I've got a few more challenges for myself to tick off. So I'll put a little list of that just there. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to head into Centre Temple Bar, I think is the place. So let's see if I can find that. It's just off the river. I think I've arrived in Temple Bar, which definitely looks a little bit more colourful and a bit more interesting than where I just was. But anyway, let's carry on. First on the list, I think I might try and see Dublin Castle, so let's go and do that. Actually, change of plan. So I've just turned the corner, and this is what I can see. So literally, just turn the corner, and by mistake, I've come across the Temple Bar, which I see all the time, photos for Dublin, so I'm guessing it's famous. Let's have a little wander inside, see what's going on, eh? Music. Oh, the to be. But it costs you about ten pounds, ten euros for a pint, though. Maybe later. Well, there you go, isn't that exactly what you're expecting? Dublin, loads of Irish in the pub, having a pint of Guinness, having a sing, having a good time. Absolutely great, it's what you want, isn't it? Anyway, moving on, Dublin Castle. Right, I know I'm meant to be ticking off challenges, but apparently this is a spa. What the hell's going on? This place definitely has a buzz to it.
Right, I'm not gonna lie, I've got absolutely no idea how to get into this place. Which is probably pretty good for a castle. But I need to get in. So I think I've found it anyway. I've just made my way into this beautiful little courtyard. You can see the sun's out, it's about 23 degrees. Uh, I've got some lovely buildings just over here. Uh, and I think entrance to the castle is just in there, but it's at like 8 euros. It's like half an hour self guided to us. I'm not sure if I can bother. So I've decided I'm just going to do it. Why not? I've only got 50s. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Perfect. Thank you. There is your Perfect. Six euros to get in, which means already budget is down to 32 euros. It's gone pretty quick. Hopefully it lasts. But anyway, let's go and check out this castle. Also got some very pretty paintings. Very pretty ceiling. So you've got like this lovely wooden flooring, you've got uh, the most beautiful chandeliers, painted ceiling, gold coated pillars, and these lovely little flags. Wow. Right, so I think this could be an absolute disaster. I've just checked the prices on summer and it was about 20 euros for a burger and chips, not even with a drink. So I might be in trouble here, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I'd find somewhere a little bit cheaper. Right, now 20 minutes later, I'm shattered already and starving. I found a nice little pub over there that I think I've got something, so let's go and get some food. Right, so here we are. Food has finally arrived. We've got a traditional Irish stew or something. 17 euros. Had to get a tap water, so the budget's already down to 15, but I'm going to tuck in because I'm starved. How the hell am I supposed to eat this? Right. right, so I've just had a little wander around for an hour or so, sat on that uh, bridge there. People watched for a little bit, which was lovely. Now, but anyway. I need to get my game on because I've only done two things on my list. I've had a traditional Irish meal, which was lovely, and the other one was the Dublin Castle. Because it's getting a little bit later, I might head to a bar or a pub soon, sit and spend a few hours there, but it looks like I'm going to be homeless for the night, so God knows what I'm going to do tonight. No idea. Could be interesting, I suppose we'll see. Right, and of course, I've only been here literally a few hours, and I've only got 15 euros left. What the hell am I going to do with that? I do not know. Might get a few drinks in a bar. Apart from that, wish me luck. Anyway, I think I found the place to be. We've got loads of like live bars. It's definitely live enough. Um, it's getting about eight o'clock now. Loads of people are out, ready to go and get pissed. I'm sure. But that is uh, interesting, isn't it? Like the amount of flags, there's also some live music you might be able to hear that coming from there. Uh, but I think definitely need to try and find a bar with some live music on. Maybe just spend a few hours there. Uh, yeah, plenty of people. I definitely do not have the funds for that. I tell you what, it's a bit odd. I feel like I'm in Benidorm or something. Like music everywhere, loads of bars, all the lights, lots going on. Crackheads like him wandering around, you can't even walk. I like the outfit. <laughs> Don't know what that is. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, livened up a bit. It's uh, interesting. Got all the colour. I need to find a bar though, so I can take it off the list. Alright, we're in. Four euros. Diet Coke. Sit and enjoy some music at least. 11 euros left.
I'm sweating, so I've been in there for about four hours. I've never had one drink last so long, so for about four euros, I managed to stay in there for about four or five hours. Anyway, so that's three things ticked off the list. Hopefully get a couple more done tomorrow morning, but now the real dilemma, I'm homeless for the night, so I could be dead somewhere in a few hours time, but let me let you in on the idea so far. I've got a bit of a plan. Right, so let me give you an update. They are very noisy. Evidently, I have made it into the safe haven of McDonald's. It is currently half one in the morning. Three euros forty for a large sprite rip off, and I have got seven euros forty remaining. And it's uh, yeah, like I said, half one in the morning. Not a great dilemma to be in. But anyway, hopefully, I'll see you in a little bit in a couple of hours, and I am going to walk to Phoenix Park and hopefully go and pet some deers. As the night passes, I was left with nothing but my own thoughts, and infrequently passing late night drunks. What had I done, all alone in a foreign city, without even a bed to sleep in? Home had never been so far away. I think it's time to go and find some deer. Anyway, so a little update. This is probably the quietest time you'll ever find Dublin. It's currently like 20 past four in the morning, but what the hell is going on? I'm just wandering through, no sleep. But surprisingly, I'm not actually that tired yet. I feel okay as of now, but I reckon give it a few hours and I will crash. So can I just say as well, there's like some absolute wicked street art everywhere, all around the city. One of my favorite things about Dublin. Right, but do you want to know the best thing about roaming around at this time of night? Watch. You can do whatever you want. Right now, enough of cartwheels, seagulls and drunk people. I think I have found it. Yeah, dunno. Let's go and find out. Excuse me. Have you seen any deer? Don't run away. Have you seen any deer? Have you seen any deer? Have you? Just when almost all hope was lost. That way. Right, there's two. You might be able to see them right in the middle. Hello. <laughs> You're pretty, aren't you? You're pretty. My new friends are trying to run away from me. What are they doing? Nasty. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Go on, join the pack. Join the pack, quick. We're going to Newcastle. I'm trying to see how close I can get, but they're not having any of it. <laughs> That's so cute. And as for the rest, the other, the other five hours that I've got here, God knows I am tired and there's nowhere to sleep. What a stupid, stupid idea. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. Hour 17 or whatever, I am ready for my bed. I just want to go to sleep. I'm sorry, Dublin, but I've had enough. I'm bloody knackered. Oh, get me to sleep. Bang! Just like that, back in the city centre when everything's just sprung to life a little bit, rush hour. I haven't sprung to life, I am shattered. So I think, last thing to do, get a fridge magnet and then I'm just going to rest. Wait till my coach before I fall over.
Well, here we are. This is the airport. This is me lying on the grass. Managed to get a fridge magnet, like five euros sixty or something like that. So 24 hours in Dublin turned to about 19 and 50 euros turned into 60 cents. That's all I've got left. All right, so there we go. It is about quarter past 10 in the morning the next day. I've just woke up. I've managed to sleep for about 14 hours. And I feel better, but a little bit rough still. But what have we learned from this video? So this video was a bit of a car crash, number one. Number two, Dublin is very expensive. Number three, 50 euros is definitely not enough. Number four. It is not a good idea to go somewhere without somewhere to stay or sleep all night. But yeah, so I suppose it made for a bit of an interesting experience. Why not just try things, even though it was a bit of a, a mess and a roller coaster. And hopefully if you did enjoy this video and it was half watchable, then I might try this again in more cities. So 50 euros, 24 hours in another city, see how it goes. And hopefully I'll actually be able to sleep somewhere. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. See you later. Hopefully some exciting stuff coming over the course of this summer. Adios.